Hey, good day, and thanks for tuning in to Raspberry Canoe. My name is Andrew Laframboise, and today I'm going to take you on a trip to Crab Lake in Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park here in Ontario, Canada. We went on a beautiful, chilly November canoe trip um, with our toddler and our dog's very first time in a canoe, and actually had a really good time. This is uh, our, one of our, probably our last trip. We're doing it with the dog in a canoe with a baby in the wind in almost November. It's October late. Next level. Right, Tiggs? And Tiggs has been fantastic. The drive from our hometown to Kawartha Highlands is about 90 minutes. We landed around noon. This was the maiden voyage of our new canoe, the Mad River Prospector 16, that proved to be perfect for our family. It was also Tiggy's first canoe ride. Tiggy's loves water and sticks, so we were a little worried that the paddles might have uh, been a little too attractive for him. It turned out he was amazing as well. We're doing this portage in a million stages, but that's okay, it's only small. And we're almost there. Ah, the dog! The dog is epic. And he's keeping dry, keeping him dry to our next. Wow. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go get the canoe in the other pack. Woohoo! Oh, you coming with us, Ava? You wanna stay with mom? Yeah, you stay with mom. All right, so campsite three fourteen. It is pretty epic. And we've got some really nice wood been cut for us already. Pretty good campsite. Um, the view is breathtaking. And we're going to uh, get our tent set up and our shelter set up and get everything sort of ready to go. It's because of the wind blowing right now. Epic though. Man, like next level, not even 415, 3, yeah, 415. I think we got here, I don't know, half an hour ago. We got the epic Joe Robinet style tarp we were trying to get the last few times. Well, look at that double ridge line, blocking the wind, babies ripping around. All right, so yeah, you're now. And when she says first fire she ever filled, it is the first fire she's ever built. But she decided that her first time out she'd use a fire steel. Yeah. And I think it went pretty well. Uh, yeah. So right now, I'm going to, um, I'm going to have no metaphor and a pumpkin spice latte for Starbucks. Woohoo! You can take the girl out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the girl. Unless you give her an axe and a fire steel. And we've got ourselves a little bit of wood to get us through tonight. Thanks to the last guys who actually also left us pretty awesome saw. So we're 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 bushcrafting. Whoa! Baby, blow me your whistle. Woohoo! This is like a caravana going under. <laughs> Epic! You're cooking a hot dog? The concentration is unbelievable. The baby is cooking her own hot dog. Cook your own food, girl! Hot dog cam! Campsite 314. Might be one of the better campsites. Look at those beautiful rock ledges. This little cove here. Part of our shoreline. Let's go catch a big fish. There goes Tiggy's.
does a wolf make? Shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark. Babies and dogs. If she does, it's not my fault. I'm here with my hatchet and my log. I want to date a guy with a Maserati. Oh, damn. You gotta, you made your decisions. I made the decision. Splitting with dogs. The dogs coming to mom going, save me. You know, this dog didn't like kids before we had this baby. Let him go, baby. The poor guy. Walking you through the campsite now, it is, check my, my marathon, which is an epic watch. Yeah, it was awful. Avoid the backpackers jerk chicken and rice meal. It's, it's, it's going to add about 10 solid pounds of pure water weight to you because of all the salt. No, I don't. I, won't, I don't want to be. It's hot. I know. I don't care. I don't want to be. I. I You're hot inside your jacket. Just stop. Stop. He's like the fucking food rapist. I know. It will go in your. I'm pocket. having a me too moment. It'll keep the moment. No. <laughs> Stay away from me. All yeah, right. Anyways, so back to. Oh yeah, the baby. Of course. Like she's. She's pretty uh, ornery, right? Because that had to happen. dog's epic. In fact, I, I would trade a baby. If somebody said to me, well, here's the deal, and you can either go with your dog or your baby, man, that baby would be out the door. Baby causing problem with sticks. Dog being epic and being epic. Baby gotta hurt herself really badly. Dog just having a lovely drink because he makes his way up the hill to the campsite. Baby up to no good. Dog epic. Baby. Dog. Baby. Husband. Dog. Canoe. So I'm thinking here that the baby and the husband, they can go to a really good home. And the dog and the canoe. I'll, I'll keep that. We had our first snow today and our first snow was in probably uh, 
probably the most interesting park I've been in. Um, definitely Killarney takes the cake for beauty. This is exactly like Algonquin. So we made it to the top of Blueberry Hill, and uh, I think, and we kind of did it the wrong way. We tried canoeing in this, the dog didn't get in the canoe, he got wet. And before you know it, it was like, the wind was taking us everywhere. So we just hiked to it, through the backwoods, and it worked out all right. I actually missed that. Yeah, I'd do that again. That was hot. Derek Zoolander that. Give me the give me the Zoolander. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. We are at the top of Blueberry Mountain! Blueberry Mountain! We got Yeah, there's no blueberries. That's just an observation. They lie. Okay. So I got the dog and the baby. And here's my uh, here's my thoughts on Blueberry Mountain. It's pretty epic. You should definitely it should be on your Ontario to-do list. Right, Jakes? Nice big mattress, like with 15 down blankets on top of her. So she's warm. So she's warm. She went all day, no gloves, no hat. And so that anyway. was her choice. Every time we'd put them on, she'd rip them off and scream. That's true. Oh, the glow. The glow what, the moon? Oh, the moon's up there too. Quite incredible. Actually, that captures this well. So, anyway, long story short, Leslie thinks she's wearing like three pairs of socks crammed into these like pretty small boots, right? So I'm thinking to myself, well, that's not necessarily the way to get warm. And then I asked her what socks she had on the bottom, right? And, and we pulled them off and they were wet, like wet to the touch, right? Where the two wool socks weren't. I know they're wool. So, anyway, I go to her. So, like, there's no way this is a wool sock, even though it was said the wool sock. And I wanted you guys to take a look and see what exactly... There's the sock. Now, do you think it's wool? You see how it's shrinking now? Well, I wonder if wool would do that. And then, like, it's starting to, like... There's no way that's a wool sock. So, her poor feet are, like, freezing and... I think it's that sock's fault. Like, I, I shouldn't be doing this, but there's like plumes of like black, like it's just like I threw a plastic bag in there. So anyway, I think we're not going to be using those socks anymore. It's got to be natural wool and absolutely no, not even a thought of cotton. No cotton. No. Oh. This is a tribute to our talk. <laughs> and I couldn't find a better dog. Couldn't find a better dog. Bow, 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 da, 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 bow. Oh, he's a great dog. Yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna come back to me. And come back to me, yeah. oh, 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 my tiggies, he's a great dog, yeah. This is me, if, if dogs, if dogs had actual me too moments, that would have been it. <laughs> there he goes. Poor guy. And you know something, we didn't bring alcohol on this trip at all. <laughs> uh. Nobody is. Like, he's a great dog.
Yeah, and he's getting old. See if it's boiling. Oh, that's got a nice bowl going. It's got a nice rolling boil. You know, it, it may stop All right, boiling. watch check. Oh, I can't see mine. I got the 10 to 10. I got the 10 to 10, too. Seriously, <laughs> it's good to go, man. a little tribute to this dog. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was hilarious. That might have been the funniest thing yet. Alright, Abe, Andrew's gonna do a obedience routine with the better dog. Cause he can't find a better dog. Okay, you gotta stop tape now because it's gone way too long. I feel like that too. I'm filming now. Hey. No, don't do that. Don't fucking make the noise. Imagine that coming out in the middle of the night. Be like this. Ah. Alright. I want to see him sit, plats, and foos. Alright, let's get I need some kind of incentive here. He works for these here. Stick. Call him over. I don't even know where he is. Tyson? Yeah? Why do you always make yourself sound like a straining German? Yeah? 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 It's here. Alright, who's? <laughs> that was bad. What? <laughs> yep. Who's? Good job. <laughs> Crab Lake's a must do trip. A two hour drive from Toronto to the Wolf Lake access point and another two hours paddling. And just that little 140 meter portage gives you a taste of everything canoeing has to offer in Northern Ontario without too much effort. Thanks again for tuning into Raspberry Canoe. If you like what we're doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, happy hiking.